Spiteful, he can't do anything off of a teleprompter. That was the bad cop, and it worked well until he no longer needed it. Mm -hmm. And then they got rid of Beck. So part of it is, is with what's going on with Rupert Murdoch in England, believe it or not, it's having repercussions here in the United yeah, States. Yeah, it has, um, the laws, okay, it works as, you could rob the Bank of England in Great Britain, and if you've done nothing wrong here, and they can't prove beyond a, beyond a reasonable doubt that you robbed the Bank of England, which doesn't mean, I mean, you could walk into the bank and have no mask on, and if they can't absolutely prove that you did it, you're not going to get sent, you're not going to be charged here and sent back over there. That's the way the law works. We, don't, we only send people back that there is substantial proof that they actually did anything, and uh, and basically, a scandal publication, uh, because you lied in a publication or you got news. It's a through, scandal publication! It's, it's not a criminal offense in our country yeah. to make up something about somebody else or for somebody over there. to. If, if you did that, I mean, nobody in our country would be running in the news business because they're they basically, as they're calling the word now, they hack all the time. Much hacking is done, but I think hack is the, hack is the, is the, uh, is now the name for, uh, okay, how much is it going to cost me for this private, this personal interview, this exclusive? Well, and th it's not just the scandal magazines that are doing it, like we said. Oh, it's just, uh, okay, here we got ABC News. Uh, is this is this bill big enough? Will you give me an exclusive interview? And, and that, usually what happens is the person would have an agent who bids it, who sends it out to the different places, and they've been on okay, it. Okay, but now the word is, okay, uh, you know, the, uh, the young Anthony woman, Casey you know, Anthony. Casey, she's, you know, well, I did not give this exclusive interview to uh, ABC News and Diane Sawyer. My private material must have been hacked. Uh, you've got, you know, we Is this like an extension of Wikipedia? Yeah, we have. Not Wikipedia. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like losing the name of it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Gate. Yeah, but no, but that, that's what. Uh, but you can imagine, you know, uh, uh, Ted Bundy, who they wouldn't allow him to sell his stuff, but it got out. I, you know, I, I cannot be held responsible. I know you passed the law that says I cannot profit from, from what I did. But they hacked me. They hacked my personal computer file, and they stole this information. And then the newspaper said, well. We can't be responsible for someone down the line. Our job is simply to report the news, and we, we in good faith, bought this from this and from people. But that's what they're going to call a new word for um, purchasing information. We'll be are putting stuff out there that you shouldn't have put out there. It did. It's going to be called hacking now, and it is not. You know what they did over in England is not a crime here, but Murdoch. Is, um, it's how all those sex tapes yeah, got out, right? Yeah. You know, like. Who, who did all the sex tapes? You know, like Kardashian and her Kardashian, and they, they, know, they all these actresses. They, they release them and then say they were hacked. Or you got the Miley Cyrus cell. My cell phone was hacked. Uh, you know, Vanessa Hawkins, my cell phone was hacked. You know, uh, was it this uh, this one actress on one of the things, Blake Lively? It wasn't me. Well, it may have been me, but I may have been hacked. Well, like Wintergate. <laughs> but that is the key word. Hacking now will be used for any means of uh, any material that is out there will be called hacked. So, but... Because um, certainly you would never have done that. Somebody else cloned your phone. They cloned your phone. That's called hacking. But um, they, they basically, they cloned your... Com as they were, you were sitting there working on your tablet, writing your memoirs, explaining how I robbed the Bank of England. And they, uh, they got that material off of your tablet while you were doing it. It is possible. We can do it. it really well, see, part of it is, it is possible to be done by hacking. Yeah, it is possible. Why oh, do it when you can pay the people? It's a lot easier than they don't our, have to our, hack it. Uh, my father had people cause niches. That it, it, it cost, what it would cost him would be, a, uh, you know, my father was, a, he, did, he did the Hollywood stuff, but, you know, they want to find out so some who's leaking stuff in a studio, like, who's got, you know, we get it, nobody's supposed to know what the script says, and the script is everywhere, who's doing it. So he'd basically go down with a you know a, a bottle of cheap alcohol and a box of cigarettes with people he knew mm -hmm. and maybe a five dollar bill and he'd get the information and then turn it over to the people above him. That's mm -hmm. 
always the way it's done. But you know, they see it on TV all the time on the television shows. Yeah. Can you tell us some information about this? Yeah, you know, and then you know, and then the. Uh, uh, maybe, go, a, maybe, we're, we're a, gonna go maybe to, a bill will help. We're, we're going to go back to the, I used to work on lots of westerns, and we're going to go, let's say they're doing a Wyatt Earp, and Wyatt Earp basically reaches in, he's got a really dustbin wallet, and he said, uh, you know, uh, can you tell me if they were here? He said, can you tell me if they were here? And, oh, I can tell you they're where, I can tell you they were here, and, uh, and he said, for maybe two more of that, I can tell you where they're at. Mm -hmm. That's how it's done, folks. That would have been, I mean, I can imagine, you know, hey, you know, bartender, you know, okay, you know, town boss, I never told Wyatt Earp a thing. I was hacked. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the attitude for being hacked now. Um, they're using this as an excuse to get rid of all, all right-wing Broadcasting in a country right now. Well, the, because before they were trying to shut down uh, talk TV, uh, talk, talk radio. radio, and the talk they're going to do it because they're vote, they're talking about it right now in the FCC about putting severe taxes upon talk radio because talk radio is monopolizing the airwaves, and we need to make certain minorities have a chance. So we need them to put phoning up, pony up about twenty, thirty billion dollars into a fund and that money will be used to fund things like Air America. You know, everything that is left, okay, 90% 90, 90 of all the broadcasting is left, 10% is right. Mm -hmm. And they're terrified of 10% that has no power whatsoever. Yeah. You know why they're terrified of it? Because who tends to get the most listening and what's the most views? Mm -hmm. It's the 10%. The 10%. Because See, part of it is, if that's the only place where you can find that type of programming, you all yeah. go to that one. But if only... Whereas 90%, you can spread it out amongst all the other people. But the people on the left are coming to the right because that's <gasps> where the news is at. Ah, see, that could be the problem. Because nobody wants to hear 24 hours a day, you know, when he's got the... We've never... This president... Oh, I mean, my God. I, I, I get thrills up my leg every time that this president just oh my god he's the most we've never had a president that is great that's what they're getting is butt kissing I mean I come from an era where people like that would have been fired totally tanned well that's generally what you find them but you would have fired them they wouldn't have they would have the first time you did a show any news item bus butt kissing any political candidate and you weren't a commentator, they'd have thrown your rear end off of television. They, you know, the commentators, O'Reilly is a jerk, but he's paid to be a jerk. That's the whole problem. He, he, you know, a jerky character as his is a persona. I mean, my guess is his mommy and daddy would have kicked his rear end if they'd have done anything like this. But he is paid to be the a-hole he is, and he does it really good. I mean, he's a great That's actor. That's what happened with Imus. Yeah. I must, I must got, I must did nothing wrong, but he irritated the wrong people, and he was also making too much money, so they canned his butt. Yeah. It's all got to do with money. There's, there's a, there's a rule of thumb in the, in the animation industry. You've never been an animator unless you've been fired by Disney many times. Because what happens is in a business you start making too much money, and they find a reason to get rid of you, and they know that if you got, if you got lots of bills. In a family, you'll come back at a lower rate. Yeah, just as Charlie Sheen. Yeah, so I mean, they've been trying to get rid of uh, of of uh, Howard Stern on his contract since he signed it, and I think he took it a downsizing on the next one because he's bringing in what they want. But um, the, um, if the, you know you you never you haven't had freedom of speech in in decades, and it looks like you're going to have less freedom when they get done. Fox is going. It's not a matter if, it's a matter of when they will, they will suspend the broadcast uh, because they... They'll find some reason they to said, do it. Uh, in the, in the, in the, it. Basically the rule of thumb, which is they don't pay any attention to, is in the interest of the public, in the best interest of the public. Who decides what is the best interest of the public? The FCC. And the FCC is controlled by whatever president is in charge. And you will find out liberals are more conservative than conservatives when it comes to freedom of speech. I mean, they may not like you burning flags. They may bitch up a storm about it. 
but the court, the conservative courts will uh, will stand by you doing anything you want to the flag, all you want. Uh, and they'll also they look at the internet. The internet is populated. The, 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 as viral video is shrinking, you find that the viral videos are being the companies are being ran by more and more conservative people that are to the left on a political scale. Mm -hmm. so, but Mur Murdoch, when Murdoch falls, there's no one in line to replace him because those people, it's, which is really sad, they don't exist. I mean, they uh, they, they they tried to put in a rule, the ruling about cross ownership in order to shut Murdoch down where you couldn't have a newspaper, radio station, and a TV station in the same area. The cross ownership was permitted by the Republicans not to consolidate power, but because, it, it, which was funny, it was a freedom of speech thing. Newspapers were shutting down in communities. The only way they could stay in business was like for a radio station to buy the newspaper. And then TV stations were folding. You know how the TV station, the little station could stay in power? The radio station that bought the newspaper bought the cheap mm -hmm. little radio station, TV station. That ended up in cross ownership. Yeah, because there's a lot of places, like, if you're traveling, if you're not in a major city, it's like, you're looking at the TV station being run out of, a, uh, like, a strip mall. That's right. Mm -hmm. little, little thing. Uh, and cross ownership is all right. Yeah, if you're ABC and CBS and NBC, it's all right to have cross ownership. But if you're uh, an independent, like if you say you were Fox, if you were Comcast or Fox, um, if you own, if you have cross ownership, they want to strip you of uh, at least two thirds of what you own. If you cross ownership also means cable to folks. Most of the cable operators are owned by Republicans, not by Democrats, and they control the internet. And they, they want to dump the internet over into the hands of the other side. But, but it puts us out of business, you know, as far as news. Because.